Oh, it's water. Sorta. Water with uh, it's ice cold water. Oh, that's different. Damn it. I'm going to die here. I was hoping there'd be a heart there, but... Oh, and we're dead. Okay. Went up. Oh, well. Oof, I have a lot of coins. At some point, we're gonna have a reason to go shopping. At some point. <laughs> Until then... How do they even know where I... How do they know where I am if I haven't even... Come on. Oh, don't get me. Nope. Yeah, how do they even know where I am if they can't see me yet? Okay, need that pretty bad. Goombas swim. You know, don't know. Let's wait on that one. Okay. A lot of damage here. Might be another good one. Oh, there it is. The sneaky hearts are a super. Oh, so that's actually where the sneaky moon is, and then the other one's just a lot easier. Okay. Well, this one's easy to get and gets me back up to full health. Yeah. Helpful. Kind of wish there was like an Arctic swimsuit that you could get for this game. I'm a big fan of uh, of character outfits that actually give you passive bonuses. I totally understand why they wouldn't want to do uh, why they wouldn't want to have that for this game because obviously it would throw off the balance, and you could kind of cheese past stuff. But like, how cool would it be if you had the Arctic suit so you could actually um, swim in cold water for a little bit longer? Okay, is there anything else I've missed around here? Uh, yes. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, we've got wood blocks up here. We already got that guy. What is this? Oh, no. No. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go up here. And we do also have uh, a redo on the Bumble Grand Prix. Oh no, this is this is the wrong location. We want to go back up to the Odyssey. Yeah, like a penguin suit would be amazing in this game. Um, like I love the fact that they have these outfits, but and I actually do kind of respect. You know, you don't really want to have outfits that have more than just a cosmetic. Okay, there's something over there, too. Um, you don't want to have outfits that have more than a cosmetic effect. In a lot of cases, oh, there's something over there, too. Um, but in this case, I feel it's, like, mildly justified. Because Mario has always had outfits that actually mattered. And so to finally have a game that do that has one that doesn't matter, uh, it's maybe a bit 
silly? I don't know. It just, it feels like a wasted opportunity. Uh, I, I'd much rather have less outfits that I could switch between and actually have them do something cool. Like, what's a good example? Well, like this one. We also have spikes on the bottom of our, sh our shoes. So maybe this snowsuit makes it so we don't slip on ice. Um, but we only get it after when it really matters. Uh, and stuff like that. I was wondering how to get to this section. It took forever to figure... Uh, well, not took forever. I was wondering about this for ages. Okay, and that's just a exit back in. That took forever. Oh, hey, I can I can skip these. Awesome. Um, but like you know, a penguin suit makes it so you can um instead of doing your standard like a uh, weird roll, you can actually do like an insane belly belly slide that goes hella fast, so you can like ramp off of shit. In a fun way. Okay, so we have a platform up there. There's no way I'm making it up to that platform. That has got to be a uh, a painting thing. Okay, is there anything else I'm missing? There's those two. Oh, right, 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 right. We had these, which I saw but didn't understand. But it looks like it's some kind of secret passage with purple coins in it. Okay, so we got that. Don't care about the bunny. Already got the Lakitu fishing. Oh, no. Okay. For a second, I thought there was a uh, some purple coins in there. But there were not. Okay. Yeah, there's that hole over there. And then I think that might actually be it for the main stuff that I can grab around here. There's still the cube, too. Actually, it looks like you could use the cloud and unjump out of reach to the ledge. Maybe? I could try it. It was so cold, I had to find some shelter, but I got buried in the snow, brr. Luckily, I found a power moon in there. Enjoy! Yeah. Don't send help. So cold. This kingdom it sure is cool! Toad got frostbite on my everything, including my so suit. Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Bye. Uh, let's see. Anything else? You've also got, like, all these ice crystals, which I originally assumed were, like, some kind of goal marker. But no dice. Oh, is that a... Oh, yeah. There was that door there. That we never, we never stopped by to grab. I don't think I've gone in this one yet. Nope. Gosh. I missed it the first time around. I guess I could actually waggle the controller. It is really, <laughs> really hard to control that. There's no braking. No brakes. Okay. This is awesome. Awkward. No, don't stop me. I got a thing. Don't, don't stop. Shoot. <sighs> it took all of my boosters. Okay. Shit. 
Okay. <sighs> I still can't get that right. Alright, I might be too tired for this. I might also just not be good enough at this game for this. Oh, didn't get that one. Definitely didn't get that one. Okay. There's another one. Okay. Down to one, though. Ha! Got it! Ha! Got it! Getting here was a good job. You really are something. Can you help me down? I'm afraid of heights. I've been up here since, like, the 60s. People took photos of me and I got really upset, so I went up here to hide. And then, well... Butts. Whee! I should have actually rolled down that entire thing. That would have been interesting. Oh, well, too late. Alright, I don't actually... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know where we go. Okay, so we go back to the Odyssey. I'll see if I can cheese jump my way up to what is probably the portrait area. But if I can't, I can't. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be too high. I'll try anyway. See, for a non-Switch owner, would I recommend... Would I recommend Hat and Time as a healthy alternative to this game? Yes, absolutely. Um, Hat and Time is different than this. I would put Hat and Time much closer to maybe... No way am I making that with this sucker. I mean, maybe if we, like, kind of jam ourselves into a corner and slowly ascend. Nope. Wait. No, because we don't have any backdraft on that. Backdraft on this. Okay, um... Let's see. Yeah, I don't care about Koopa Trace walking. That's awkward anyway. Um, but yeah, no, Hat in Time is fantastic. In fact, for most people watching this, I really would actually recommend Hat in Time first. Because Super Mario Odyssey is amazing, but it's kind of expensive. Hat in Time is a fair bit cheaper. Um, and I think it feels more focused. There's very direct goals that you can go after with, you know, side collectibles and stuff. Um, but I think I'd have to recommend Hat in Time first. Just as a, like... I think it's an easier to get into and digest. This game almost feels like a chore how much stuff there is. Onto, onto the Luncheon Kingdom. Bowser can't run forever. Like, I actually feel incredibly aimless when I'm playing this game. I'm just... I'm just kind of wandering around and grabbing as much as I can. And some part of me really wishes that I had specific goals to go for every single time instead. Can you take the clown man up the ground to the ship and then behind it to the higher height? No, it doesn't work that way. Sorry. So they're serving frost frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Long jump. Okay. Run, crouch, and then jump. Yeah, I've done that. We should read up on the Lunch Kingdom next. It says here, this country is famous for using a volcano to prepare a dish called the Stupendous Stew. So Hat Time is more of a streamlined experience while Odyssey is create your own route? Kinda yeah. There are definitely like open exploration areas. Like this. Um, but they often have like one goal that you could deviate from. Whereas this is... There is one goal that you barely even care about, and you just kind of deviate until you get there, if that makes sense. My goodness, they're here! The Brutals! I, they've always been here. Why Why even act surprised at this point? Can I go into the goopity goop? Okay, so the answer is no, and death. So let's not do that. Okay, actually, can I go shopping anywhere? Huh. Ow. 
Ow. I kind of hate motion controls. They suck, but sometimes you need them. There we go, got it. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty little moon thing. She's so in love. And then, and then a completely strange man hops out of their stacked up lovers. Leave tomatoes. Oh. Huh. I don't think I can become a tomato. Okay. Well, about to die. Ow, still on fire. What about this? Can I... Yeah, consolation prizes. Got it. I wish these guys would occasionally drop health for me. It would be nice. Wait, what? Huh. Okay. We'll admit, was not expecting that. Ho oh, oh. ho! We stole a whole boatload of the place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding show. But I'm gonna head back to the volcano and finish off that stew after I'm done with you! I have no HP. Well. Farm it up while we wait for Blarful. At least Barful's like really easy to fight comparatively. The goo he leaves behind is kind of a pain in the ass. There he goes. What does this guy eat? Pure waste. He goes to landfills and he's like, Dinner! Yes! And that's that's just how he works. I really like this this level though. Purely from like a visual design standpoint, it is gorgeous. Like, the ice level is kind of boring. I really don't like New Donk City. I'm a huge fan of this one. The the really low poly fruits and vegetables and so on and so forth looks really nice. It does look a little sparse though. I don't know, there's just just something empty about these levels and I'm not I'm not sure if I can quite put my finger on it yet. I'll get I'll get there eventually. I guess really it's because we're always just kind of in this level floating in the middle of nowhere. But I guess that's always been true of Mario games, that you've been floating in the middle of the... In middle of, like, wherever. With Galaxy, it wasn't so bad because the levels tended to be very spread out. Um... And for... Sunshine, they tended to be kind of... Fairly expansive, I think. Maybe. Food-based levels in 3D Mario games are always the best. Yeah! Oh, man. I want them to make a Yoshi's Island game in this style. That'd be awesome. It looks like I will be able to take one of those, um... Oh, hey. Get this handy looking. Oop. There we go. Oh, 
I did a dumb. I never actually got the... I never actually got the uh, flag on the other side of that boss fight. Whoopsie! I guess I'll have to go work on that. Uh... that over there. Nothing here. Alright. Oh! Oh. Huh. I guess I didn't have to die. This one has to die, though. Well, maybe? Nope. Ow. Well, that, that went all sorts of poorly. Is it gonna come back? You better. There we go. Yeah, the idea of turning into one of these, like, sentient fireball things is kind of magic to me. Oh, hey, I can re-get the... I can re-get the... That. Uh... I'm really looking for a flag out here, but whatever, I'll do the door. It's not like it's going to take that long. Oh. Thanks, Hex, for the sub. Let's see, what else we got here? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. So, oh, 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 hi. You know, I think this is one of the easiest bonus moons I've ever seen. Oh, is all this stuff shortbread? It is. I need to make shortbread someday. <sighs> the problem is I've been kind of perpetually on a diet forever. And so I, like, never make desserts anymore. I'm really big on, um... On making desserts. And I wanna... I wanna make more of them, but... I'm also trying very hard not to be fat anymore. The problem is, they don't work together that well. Oh, well, that works. Mess that one up. Damn it! Let's see, so those lava tomatoes, how long do they stay a puddle? Oh, that's an interesting question. Come on! The problem is, while he's running with his butt on fire, he... While he's running with his butt on fire, he, um... He more or less... Oh. Okay. Uh, two more. Yeah, when his butt's on fire, he will go, um... He more or less commits suicide because he won't stop running. Which is super risky. Also, this... This bit kind of sucks. Oh, well that works. Come on, ground pound, ground pound, ground pound, ground pound. <laughs> Don't care! I know where it is! Oh, hey, we got it. Got it. Yeah! Alright. Oh, dude, I haven't even looked at it. These are some uh, ragged-looking uh, pipes. I love them, though. Like the uh, the idea of um, having pipe. Uh, well, not the idea of having pipes, but actually texturing those pipes looks really nice. Cause I don't, they don't generally do that. Well, I mean. Maybe they have in the previous games, I just haven't noticed. Never felt like they did. Oh my, what's that spell? Delicious! It's a sentient fork. Big welcome to Mount Volba Volbono. Home to the hugest flavors anywhere. I'd show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. 
That bird up there showed out of nowhere and took over our stew pot. Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew too. Everyone was getting ready to dig in. How do people dig in around here? Okay, under the cheese rocks. I should probably use these more. Oh. Can I, can I just climb? I can just climb this. Okay. Nope. I need to use these more often. <laughs> uh, rampant destruction. You're my favorite. Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Got it. No, 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 no. Okay, so you can cheese your, your way up uh, walls. This is going to take... Got it. Haha. -ha. Got it. You can cheese your way up walls. It just takes some serious effort. <laughs> serious effort. There's probably a better way of doing that, but still. I don't know, actually. I might have had to cheese my way up there. I don't see a way to get down. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. All right, no, come back. Come back, you giant stack of coins. There we go. Let's go do some gambling. Wanda wants to cheese the food place. Yeah. Play some slots. The Toasterina game that's winning worldwide fame. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. I will continue to cheat. As per my my usual strategy. Okay. Kinda work. Balls. Actually got kinda close. What the Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's try this kind of again. Not very good at timing games, honestly. I have to get them working. Where I have to, I have to do it anyway. But I'm just not good at them. I guess I don't know. I have good reflexes, but they're inconsistent. Then <laughs> trying to get this five times is rough. Oh, that could have gone real bad. There we go. Got it. There we go. Yeah, I, uh... Oof. I don't know. You know, that's actually probably one of the last ones we have to go to. How many worlds do we even have left? I can feel like we're actually getting pretty close to the end here. Maybe. That'd be kind of weird magic beating this in, like, one more sitting. I don't think I'm going to beat it tonight. I think I'm too tired for that. If we see, like, the, the Super Bowser wedding line, I'm probably just gonna be like, Well, that's the end of tonight, because no way. Oh, I love the fact that they actually... rustle. Okay, so we had... have another one of these. Ah, it's just a heart, though. That's significantly less cool. Which I find significantly more dis disappointing. Oh. 
might actually be... Damn it. Ow. Okay, we take damage if we go in there. Note to self. Maybe don't leap in the... Dang it. Okay. Oh! Hey! We found the shop! Let's go shopping. I don't even know what we got in here. You? You. Welcome, welcome. We got some new stuff in. So we've got, obviously, the... There's a clown outfit. Ugh. Hey, we haven't actually looked. How many, uh... How many moons do we have here? Oh, wait. Why did I put it on? Why am I putting these on? Well, actually, I don't match this anyway, so I should probably change my outfit regardless. 